This is ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. Brought to you by Boise Weekly, Citadel Radio, and KBOI TV2. Hello and welcome to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. I'm your host, Brad Rowan. We've got a lot of stuff going on this week in the Treasure Valley, so we're going to jump right into it. Here's Sean the Movie Guy. Dick and I are getting a little too Mr. and Mrs. Married. We have to work on the sparkle. Sparkle. What happens after you say I do? Two years ago, the Sex and the City movie was a surprise hit. So naturally, Carrie and her gal pals are set for a big screen return this week in the originally titled Sex and the City 2. One week in Abu Dhabi, all expenses pay. When are you going to go? I don't know. When can you all be free? You didn't think I was going without my gals. The ladies are still grappling with careers and romance and reveling in the power of their friendship, but we need a change of scenery. So this time out, we ditch NYC and head off to Abu Dhabi for some Middle Eastern opulence. This movie is really a romp. It's a, it should be a caper, so it's big. You know, there's massive amounts of travel, and it's very cinematic, and it's big shots and costumes, and it was just, it felt big. Such a noble prince. Leaping to assist the fallen beauty. Who said you were a beauty? There must be a reason why you can't take your eyes off me. More Middle East on display in Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, which finds Jake Gyllenhaal playing a very acrobatic prince who, thanks to a magical dagger, has the ability to control the sands of time. Releasing the sand turns back time. Only the holder of the dagger is aware of what's happened. Prince of Persia is based on a video game, so while there's some hint at romance, the film is really all about the big action sequences. And that's what's in the movies this week. I'm Sean McBride, the movie guy for ETV. Sean, the movie guy, now joins us. Sean, tell me about Prince of Persia. You know, it's kind of interesting because it's Jerry Bruckheimer, and, right. and I'll be honest with you, I didn't think Prince of Persia looked all that good to start out with. Uh, it's, it's not a bad film at all. It reminds me a lot of Pirates of the Caribbean, which was another film when it first came out. If you recall, everyone said, how can you possibly make a movie based on a, on Disney a Disneyland ride? Ride. <laughs> ride? Exactly, and it turned out to be a great movie. Right. I'm not going to say Prince of Persia, Sands of Time is a great movie, but as far as just a straightforward action popcorn film, I thought it was a lot of fun. Jerry Brockhammer knows how to make movies that are just good, exciting fun for the family. Let's just hope it's like Pirates 1. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, over at the flicks, we have some interesting films that are opening up, particularly, well, Babies is still playing, and let's face it, Babies has just been sort of a, a wonderful little documentary phenomenon. Right. But no one knows about Persian Cats, which I think is a very interesting film. Uh, it's based in the, it's a fictional film, but it's based in the Iranian subculture. So it's these kids trying to do rock and roll in Iran, and it's kind of an interesting film. Actually, one of my favorite films I saw, I saw three or four months ago, and it's one that I still remember from last year. Well, with all the conflict going on, it sounds like a pretty interesting storyline. Right, exactly. Now, also at the flicks, let's remember, The Dry Land is a new movie that's coming out. America Ferrara is in that film, and she's coming out for the Idaho premiere. Uh, it's Heather Ray's new film. And uh, it's going to be, uh, she's going to be here at the flicks on Friday night. We're actually going to interview her tomorrow. I'll try and put that interview up on etv.com. But if you want to check that out, uh, also don't forget, I-48 is coming up. Uh, you need to sign up for that if, you, if you're interested. Uh, that's the filmmaking con contest where you get 48 hours to make a little short film. It's a lot of fun. Check that out, I-48. Uh, you can get more information about that at the Flix website as well. Over on DVD, uh, one notable thing, The Road. That's Cormac McCarthy's film. I think that was sort of an underappreciated film from last year. Certainly you'll want to check that out. L local theater. Uh, sorry, we're going really quick here. Bob and Al show is opening up at Stagecoach Theater. It's what happens when the characters, uh, a playwright writes a play and his characters start to talk back to him. So it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Weekends through June 12th. So don't forget, you've also got Move Over Mrs. Markham that's playing over at Knock 'em Dead right. Theater. Go to K kedproductions.org and you've also got uh, Chapter 2 which is playing at Boise Little Theater that's Neil Simon's play um, and so check that out a lot of good theater a lot of great film events thanks Sean it sounds like some really great stuff especially the one with uh, America Ferrara coming in yeah. for the premiere there mm -hmm. speaking of other great local events here's Amy Atkins from the Boise Weekly <laughs> 